It was the night before Christmas, and all through the house, not a creature was stirring, not even a mouse. The stockings were hung by the chimney with care, in the hope that St. Nicholas soon would be there. The children were nestled, all snug in their beds, while visions of sugar plums danced in their heads. And Mama in her kerchief, and I in my cap, had just, just settled, settled our brains for a long winter's nap. When out on the lawn, there arose such a clatter, I sprang from my bed to see what was the matter. Away to the window, I flew like a flash, tore open the shutters and threw up the sash. The moon on the breast of the new fallen snow gave a luster of midday to the objects below. When what to my wondering eye did appear but a miniature sleigh and a tiny reindeer. With a little old driver so lively and quick, I knew in a moment it must be St Nick. More rapid than eagles his courses they came. And he whistled and shouted and called them by name. Now Dasher, now Dancer, now Prancer and Vixen, on Comet, on Cupid, and Donner and Blitzen. To the top of the park, to the top of the wall, now dash, dash away, dash away, dash away all. Is loose that before the wild hurricane fly, when they meet with an obstacle, mount to the sky. So up to the high top, the causes they flew, with the sleigh full of toys, and St Nicholas too. And then, in the twinkling, I heard on the roof, the prancing and pouring of each little hoof. As I blew in my head and was turning around, down the chimney St. Nicholas came with a bound. He was dressed all in fur, from his head to his foot, and his clothes were all tarnished. Ashes and soot. A bundle of toys he had flung on his back, he looked like a peddler just opening his pack. His eyes, how they twinkled! His dimples, how merry! His cheeks were like roses. His nose like a cherry. His droll little mouth was drawn up like a bow. And the beard on his chin was as white as the snow. The stump of his pipe he held tight in his teeth. And the smoke it encircled his head like a roof. He had a broad face and a little round belly that shook when he laughed. Like, like a, a bowl full of jelly. jelly. He was chubby and plump, a right jolly old elf. And I laughed when I saw him in spite of myself. A wink of his eye and a twist of his head soon gave me to know I had nothing to dread. He spoke not a word, but went straight to work. He filled all the stockings and then turned with a jerk. And laying his finger aside of his nose and giving a nod of the chimney he rose. He sprang to his sleigh, to his team gave a whistle, and away they all flew, like the down of a thistle. But I heard him exclaim, and he sounded sincere, Merry Christmas to all and a Happy New Year.